Hey guys, welcome back. Check out this video by Anthony O'Neill. If you sit there and get that money and you put it all on your kids and you have all this debt, when you get to the age of you need your kids help and you're coming with not just physical needs because you're older, now you're coming with financial needs, financial bondage, that hurts your kids more than you buying them a car at 18, 19, 20 years old. So if I'm you as a parent, I am taking that money and I'm getting out of debt. I'm investing. So this way, when I get older, when I need assistance with living, yes, my kids will be there to help me. But I thought about this long before here. So I have investments that will pay for my assistance. I have investments that will pay for the thing. So now I'm not a financial burden to you and your family, son, to you and your family, daughter, because I knew this was coming. Kirby, I'm going to let you jump into it. I know you've been wanting to react to this since this morning, so go for it. <laughs> uh, I applaud him. I applaud him for saying what needed to be said and not caring about hurting nobody's feelings. I felt this with every bone in my body. Alex, I remember as soon as you sent me this video, I called you right away. And... Before I get to this video, I'm just going to say my part. Then, Alex, we can go to you, and then I'll come back and talk about the video. This is what I call the epitome of selfishness. And, Alex, I believe I called you when I said this, and I said, you want to know how we get here? It's talking about what he's talking about in that video. It's because parents believe that they're entitled. Parents have this... The goal. They have this uh, feeling of, hey, because I birthed you, you owe me. Just think of that. Because I birthed you, because I made a decision. I don't care, male, female, couple, to get knocked up pregnant and have you, you owe me because you're here. And that is the selfishness of it all. I mean, really, that is the selfishness of it all. So parents go live their life, go live their good life, and then they hope and wish and pray and baiting their kids into taking care of them. Because, of course, you know, if you're doing halfway decent or halfway okay and you don't take care of them, then you're the, you're the person that's looking looked at in a family of, Oh, that's messed up. How you going to do your mama like that? But that's your mama. But that's your daddy. Them putting the fine. And, and the thing is, is, and again, well, I'm going to go biblical because everybody else try to go biblical on me. Is when in, in the own Bible that everybody want to preach to me from, it says when you get married, the family you create, you leave your mother and father and the family you recreate is the most important family. But then, but then your parents, they get old and decrepit and then do, didn't do nothing financially in their life. And then they want to come bring the burden on the new family. And then everybody just supposed to say, oh, I accept it because that's my mom and that's my dad. That is a, I mean, I, I ain't gonna lie, it just pissed me off. It, it pisses me off every time I see it. Every time I see people with kids and then they still doing nothing and then I'm like you know you're about to get old right and then they're like oh, oh well I hope my kids take care of me what kind of life plan is that that oh I'm just gonna do whatever thing I do in life but I'm just gonna gamble at the end like I'm at the casino I'm gambling at the end that somebody's gonna be there to take care of me they're never these people they're never these people but Alex I got so much to say, so I'm just going to pass it off to you, folks, because this would be a whole hate video. <laughs> I mean, I don't have as much to say as you do. Um, I'm not a parent, so I can't speak from Kirby's shoes because I know you I know you relate to this. And, but I do see this. I mean, I see this with other parents. I see this with a lot of people that think that their children are responsible for taking care of them. And it's a matter of it's the child's decision if they want to. I, I think the world is very literal and black and white. 
you can't just expect your kids to take care of you because the ch there is a chance that they may not want to. And especially if right. that relationship was never strong. And so it's a very selfish thing to, especially well explained by you and by the guy in this video that you can't just piss off your finances your whole life and then think that that's going to be someone else's obligation to worry about in their life, regardless of who it is, your child, your brother, or whoever. And so um, this puts families in a, in a rough spot, a rough situation, I think. If it's something out of the ordinary, you know, like someone gets cancer or whatever, it's still a family decision. It's not like it, it's, ob, uh, you know, it's not obligated, but you know, that's, that's different than a situation like where you're just putting yourself in a ton of debt and then you think, oh, it's okay. Cause my kids are just going to take care of me when I get older and pay for all my bills and stuff. So yeah, this is, um, it's something that I've seen, I've seen before. And, uh, it's a sad reality that there's a lot of parents like this. And, and let's not get it twisted. I don't want the audience to get it twisted and think that I think I'm omnipotent or I got it all figured out. I had a kid with nothing. And I was on a high road, a highway, I said a high road, a highway to no damn way. No financial literacy, no financial ability. I was robbing Peter to pay Paul. And if I would have stayed down that road, I'd have been chasing down my son now, who's 21, saying... Uh, you know, in a couple of years, you know, I ain't gonna have no money. I might need to live with you. I was there. I was there. And then, you know, fast forward. So when people be like, oh, well, you know, people, you can have, you know, people who don't plan. It's, it's up to God to uh, when you're gonna have a kid. No. No. Because if it's always up to God and God don't make no mistakes or whatever, everybody want to pass everything every mistake that they have in life on God. No, it's you. You chose to have them. So I remember uh, I was, an old family friend just came to town a couple weeks ago. And I said, no, I waited to have my son, my second son. No, I wanted to make sure we was 100% financially secure to take care of ourselves first and to be able to take care of the kid without having a financial burden. And the family friend looked at me and said, you did it? Yeah. Because I've seen this role before. I've seen the perpetual cycle going with family members, friends of mine, you know, people that I really don't know on a, on a personal level, but you see it all the time. Oh, well, this is my mom. I got to take care of her. Yeah, I get it. For the kids that do it, I salute them. But the parents are setting the ones to set their kids up for failure because when the parent comes, let's say they don't have a pension, they may have a social security. They come up with medical bills. They come up with extra transportation. They come up with extra food costs. They come up with extra utility costs. Hell, you, I might, you might have to buy a bigger place and they probably can't put that much money to uh, help with the cost because they got to pay medical and insurance and prescriptions and all that other stuff. So you're putting all that financial burden on the kid, and then only thing you're gonna get at the end is a oh man, at a boy, I'm proud, I'm proud of you, man. You took you took care of your parents when they now you sitting here suffering in debt. Parents passed on and gone, and you sitting here suffering for the rest of your life for some attaboys. I think that's reckless and selfish. And he said it best. All the money that you make as a parent, you should be thinking of the future. Everybody know how this role goes. The role goes, you're gonna live and you're gonna die. Hopefully you get up there in age and then you die. But you know, at some certain age, you gonna have to stop working. So why not focus on, hey, I don't want me to be my kid's responsibility. Why, why people don't think like that? Because that's something that comes through my mind's eye every time. I do everything that I do is for me and my wife. And of course, the legacy after, after I pass will get passed down to my kids. 
I'll teach them along the way. Then after I pass, it'll get passed down to my kids. But it ain't no, oh yeah, let me just let me just jack off all the money now and then oh, I hope my son he's 10 or I hope my son, while he got his family and married and moved to another state, I hope they're gonna have an extra room for me. Just just think, what what kind of sense does that make? And but he's he's 100 percent right. I'm glad he said it. I hope a lot of people watch watch the video. Forget about me rant ranting. Watch that video about 10, 12 times. And then look yourself in the mirror and say, damn, I'm just like the people he's talking about. I'm the people that's failing and putting more financial burden on my kid. And people, let's not get it twisted. Alex, I'm not trying to tell your business or my business. We sound like complete assholes on here about when it comes to finance, about how family can destroy finance. But Alex, I know, has helped out family members on both sides. I know I have helped out family members on both sides. We're not saying this for something that we didn't do or we won't do. We're saying it of the reality. We're being very pragmatic. Just take the emotion out of it because you can't pay bills. You I ain't never heard nobody call a light company and say, hey, bro, I ain't got no money for the light bill, but I can give you some love. No, <laughs> it don't work. It don't work. <laughs> so we're just taking all the emotion out of it. The bottom line is you put a huge burden on your kids if you fail to maintain yourself financially and then think that your kids are going to be the one that's out there that's going to save you. You're doing a disservice for them and for the love of God, stop believing that they owe you because you birthed them. That's like saying, oh, I bought I bought a BMW. It should last the rest of his life, the rest of my life because I bought it. You don't expect that out of no, nothing else in life. But you're going to put it on another human being and you know how hard it is in this economic climate. But you won't put that pressure on nobody else or nothing else. But just because I made a decision that you didn't ask me to make. It wasn't like, you know, the kids sitting there at an orphanage and they say, please, please take me. I'll take care of you for the rest of your life. You chose to do this without knowing how the kid was going to show up. You made the decision to say, hey, I want to do this. I want to birth this kid. And I'm about to put all my life in his hand. Not knowing this kid could be drug dealer in jail. Could be Alex, you know, don't want to spend a penny. Don't know how the kid going to end up. <laughs> but that's what they're doing. That's the epitome of gambling. Which you like. Alex, I'm going to stop because I already see the hate mail coming. All right, guys, with all that being said, if you have any comments, let us know down below. Share, subscribe, like, and we'll see you guys in the next one.